That would be me. Look who we're hanging with. Jason David Frank. Boom shakalaka. Please do not change channel. Welcome back. Thanks for logging on and tuning in. If you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe. That way you can keep coming back over and over to hang with us with our wonderfully talented and creative guests in the arts and entertainment world. I'm Allison Murray, and right now we are hanging at the Holistic and Psychic Fair hosted by Dragonfly Cove Entertainment at the Ithaca Mall in Ithaca, New York. And we're hanging with intuitive medium, Melissa Watkins. Thank you so much for hanging with us. Oh, thank you for having me, I'm excited. Oh my goodness, so tell us about your gift. What's the difference between a psychic medium and an intuitive, is there a difference? There is a difference. Um, you know, psychics um, are clairvoyant. Um, I have a little bit of clairvoyance, but really, um, I have the mediumship, which is being able to talk to spirit that's crossed over, but then I'm also an empath, so I can feel what you're feeling and I can tune into people's energies. So if you have people connected to you and you want to know what's going on with them, I can do that. Oh, wow, so it's, nice. it's, it's lots of different information, different ways, yes. and we, that's how I share. Oh my goodness. Are you a natural born empathic medium? Yes. Yeah, so I kind of figured out that I was an empath very early in life because I could kind of gauge the temperature of a room, how people were feeling, how to respond to different people. Um, but the whole mediumship thing, I honestly stayed away from for a very long time, and then I did some uh, classes with a medium, and she's like, no, you have this. And so I was like, okay, and I do, okay. so it's nice, and I get so to share that. So was it a little scary when you first realized you could talk to Sarah? Yeah, it's it's disconcerting. <laughs> it's disconcerting, I will be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, especially if you're young and you don't know, God, there's a gentleman standing in the corner and yeah. what does he want? Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Um, what do you hope that people take away from a reading with you? Just that I'm able to give them some clarity on maybe a life situation that they've been struggling with or maybe I've answered a question from spirit that they've been struggling with. A lot of uh, folks have loved ones who've crossed over and they just want to know that they're okay. Um, and the hardest ones are the ones that um, were self-inflicted. Um, so those ones there's always a lot of questions with and I'm usually able to give some kind of uh, solace a little bit of closure, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. They answers. get the answer that they need, maybe. Yes. Oh, that's beautiful. What's your process like when you're doing a reading? How do you um, receive your information? So, for the mediumship, I'm um, clairaudient. Um, I hear, so the messages come in and then they come out. And sometimes I don't even know what I'm saying until I've said it. So, it's a very interesting. Um, I just have to open up and kind of let it come through. So there's a lot of trust that goes on between me and my guides. Okay. Have you ever had a, um, an entity want to... Never, because never? the first thing that I do um, before I ever open up is to uh, pray. So you have to do kind of a setting the stage. And okay. so you kind of have to set the stage to let all the, the denser, is what I call them, energies know that they're not. Welcome. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Um, how do you feel that you're different from other mediums? Like, how do you stand out from, say, Lorna? Um, you know, it's, I think it's how we get our information. I think it's how you're connected to your guides. Um, I think it's, you know, the process that you go to, um, your own spiritual development, I think has a lot to do with it. Um, I think that um, meditating and, you know, being connected to again those higher energies mm -hmm. um, makes the big difference and you know I grew up very faithful um, I've let go of religion but I didn't lose the faithfulness right and I think that that makes a huge difference and that I just believe um, so strongly in you know whatever you want to believe in whether it's God universe source um, I believe it's all the same very good um, how long does a reading usually last they can last anywhere from a half hour to an hour to 45 minutes to an hour and a half. It just really depends on who's coming through, 
um, and how open the person that I'm talking to is receiving the information. If they're involved in the conversation, um, it'll be a longer conversation. Um, if they're very skeptical or kind of uncomfortable, it won't go so well the first right. time, but usually after that, it's like we've, we've cracked the ice, <laughs> um, and then the next one is much better. Have you ever read a skeptic and then they were a believer? Of course, <laughs> because it's a gift. <laughs> of course. Yeah, because I know it is very hard um, to read a skeptic because they're closed. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. but um, I'm very lucky. Um, you know, because of, I think, and I think that that's maybe a little bit of the difference is because of the empathic, I can catch that really quickly because I can feel you're closed off. Um, I can usually pick up on the things that you're concerned about and we can start the conversation there. Um, and then it just goes from there. That's beautiful. So being a medium, um, how do you shut it off or is it always there? No, I definitely close it down, um, especially, um, I have a friend who likes to walk in um, cemeteries because they are powerful places. Um, but I have to be very careful to close myself um, because I do have spirit coming up to me and asking for help. Some people, okay. some of those spirits want to cross special. over. Yes. Yeah, and so, um, they, and they need help. And then, you know, if, if they realize that you can communicate with them, they want to communicate. Okay, I was just going to ask you that. Um, when spirit does come to you, is it almost like, do you ever see um, uh, the ghost whisper mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. Jennifer mm -hmm. Hewitt? Mm -hmm. Is it like that? Do they want help? Do they need? Some of them do, help? absolutely. Some of them do. Some of them are cranky old men who are very happy to be living in the house that they're living in and they don't want to go anywhere. Um, that's actually a family member's home. <laughs> um, so yeah, it just depends. Just depends on what the situation is. Oh, yeah. that's fantastic. Um, where can people find you for um well i have a website plans. yeah i have a website it's guidance311.wordpress.com um through my services tab there's a gumroad link and they can there's three levels of readings you can do with me um i do them on the phone um we can do video or we can do voice if you're not comfortable with being seen that's okay <laughs> Um, and uh, I also have a Facebook page, uh, Melissa L. Watkins, Guidance 311. So there's lots of ways to get a hold of me. Awesome. Do we have time for a game, Harry? We got time for a game. I okay. like to play games on this All show. right. <laughs> We're gonna, I want to play something fun with you. Um, let's play Disturbed Friends. <laughs> okay. <laughs> have you ever played this game? It is no. a very bad game, I'll just tell you right now. Okay. Uh oh. We what just have I pick a card. Into? We pick a card, there's a little, uh, like a little sentence, and then you have A, B, or C, and you have to pick the best answer for the question, the dirtier the better. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's who wins. Okay. <laughs> I'll go, you pick a card. All right. I'll go first, kind of, to give you an idea. Okay. Oops, I got two. Oh, let's see. The craziest place I would be willing to take a shit is. <laughs> In the woods. Oh. I'm going to say on a roller coaster. <laughs> that would be so disgusting. Yes, it would. Yes, it would. You see what I mean? Okay. It's not a good, fun game. <laughs> a sleepover with my friends would probably involve <laughs> dropping acid and dissecting frogs. <laughs> Yay! She knows how to play this game. Let's play one more. I love this game. I just got this game. I love it. Oh, here we go. I typically ball in my, I typically bail on my friends because, what? I got high. I have to go date random losers from the internet. <laughs> That's scary. Okay. I know. Wow. <laughs> One disturbing thing I could not turn away from watching is wrinkly side boob. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Well, guys, I have had so much fun hanging with Melissa today. I am Allison Murray. But before we go, we would like to give a very special thank you to our partners at Krypton Radio out of LA. 
Famous Faces and Funnies, Off the Chain Radio with Yvonne Mason, Space Coast Comics, Asylum Convention Entertainment Services with Heather Reed, Embellish FX in Orlando, Florida. These are the folks that share our videos all over the World Wide Web, and we hope you will too. Don't forget to hit that like button, leave a comment, and let us know what you think of today's show and our guest. You can also check our guest links below. Remember to subscribe, log on, and stay tuned to see who we're hanging with next. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Oh, my God.